hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys so um this is some pretty no that's not a pretty um this is just a video i just want to chat with you guys about a couple things i know the video is a little dark um it is like 5 a.m in the morning um so yeah it's gonna be a little dark because the sunlight is not out so i can't open the windows for sunlight and I do have my lights on, but oh, I don't know if it's just my eyes or what, but it looks like the video is very dark. Let me see. I'm trying to get as much light as possible in here. Ooh, that didn't work out. Okay. Anyway, for those that may be new to my channel and may not know, this is Aspen Poo. Aspen is the prototype Aspen or Claire Teller painted by me. Um, so, um, pre-order information will come soon. <laughs> I know I've been saying that for a little while, but it will. Um, so, came across a interesting post uh, yesterday evening where there's this prototype artist, big time prototype artist actually um did a prototype of a or i don't know if she i may be saying this part wrong i'm gonna just say that she actually painted a counterfeit kit um she painted a counterfeit kit and her work apparently is exquisite some of the big time collectors slash artists painters sculptors whatever actually have used her for prototypes and also collected her work for personal collections and stuff like that now um a lot of them did say they sent her the the kit so they know that their, their kits are authentic however they are now like doing okay you know how it go the spread campaign to um tell everyone and then muma not to actually uh, support this artist anymore because apparently she got very nasty in the comments and she was I guess blaming everybody she actually said her daughter painted the baby and um I don't know if she she was sick trying to say she didn't know that it wasn't legit or what I didn't really get that deep into it because that's not what I want to talk about I'm going to talk about the surface of the whole idea of everything and how the community works so because it's supposed to be a kit that came from like China or somewhere like that. Um, it is, you know, of course the sin is greater because it comes from China, uh, which I don't understand that because there's people right here in the USA that are copying. In fact, some of the people that actually be on the post talking about the person that copy copies in fact sometimes the sculpt that they copy is a copy <laughs> that's be funny that 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 be that that part is always funny when a person that clearly copied somebody else's limbs or head or something like that use it as a you know i i get where people say oh we're using it they use it as a um a guy like some people take a head and then they reshape the eyes and all that so I think people think that then that becomes their scope because they change things around. But if you use a Levi head and hit, copy his head shape, his head structure, his nose, but flare out the nostrils a little bit more or, you know, maneuver the mouth a little bit more or something, it's still copying because you didn't, you didn't sculpt it from a ball of clay. If you take a, you life cast somebody else's doll and you, you know, add a little bit more clay or, you know, file it down a little bit smaller, shrink it down or whatever they do, you're not really being authentic, are you? So it, you know, I don't support any of it, but it is disheartening when you see it but it is kind of a little irritating and frustrating when you like i know some collectors just want a doll 
And I know we just sometimes we we see what we want to see. And sometimes we just we don't we don't be thinking about that. I mean, sometimes we clearly just see a baby we like, go crazy about it, and we not trying to pull up the DNA. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. And I'm not saying that that is okay. I'm just saying that some some collectors just may not know. Some artists because their their heart is not in the art. Their heart is in the money. How much money they can make. They just don't know. And um. Or they don't care. You know, there's always that factor. Um, but some of us see things. Um, there is a particular... Uh, and sometimes you, you, you get involved with these people and you realize. And then it's like, for me, it's like, I'll never touch any anything else from you when I realize that. Because um, there's, there's a... a so-called sculptor right now that used Bonnie Brown for a lot of their stuff. They've copied her uh, Levi. They've blatantly copied her Maddie legs. They've used Andrea Arcella uh, doll face. Um, they've used the Sylvia Manning hand. Um, and they're no different than Baby Klein. They'll take bits and pieces and they make this baby. And now it looks like they may be possibly even using a Lillian Breville body now. Um, I'm not going to say. Please don't message me because I, I do not need the mob after me. I'm not going to say who this person is. Um, because these people are very protected by others that do the same thing. And so I don't want to be in that. Um, it, it broke my heart though, when I seen the two side, two of the kids side by side. And this, this particular sculpture is pretty bold too, because they will actually have the vinyl kit right bef and show it right before they show the, the one, the, the doll that they're copying. And it, it really broke my heart because I'm such a Bonnie Brown fan and I've seen plenty people use her they use her a lot and um i was at a doll show one year in fact i think those ladies hate me till this day because of that i said that and i'm very outspoken and sometimes i i can't i i need to do better with it but i was at the doll show and they walked up and they had that silicone baby and they were showing the baby and the first thing i said i said wow those are levi hands and feet and and I, it came out before I could, you know, take it back. And then I was like, well, you know. And then they were like, well, maybe she was inspired. No, she just copied. You know, it's like, but I didn't say that. I was just thinking in my head, like, no, she just copied. And so, you know, all this inspirational crap. Inspire yourself to pick up the clay and inspire yourself to sculpt it from scratch. And that's why a lot of us are like, oh, my God, like, you know. This kit looked like this kit. It's a reason for that a lot of times. Now there there is one particular sculptor, and I'm not gonna say her name either, but I have seen her actually sculpt. And and some of them actually can sculpt a little bit. They just can't sculpt completely on their own, I believe. But I've seen this one sculptor that actually I think she just sculpts what is popular because I know for a fact that she sculpts. Um, she's shown us that she sculpt from nothing. And I think sometimes she will sculpt things um, to look like what's kind of trending. That's different. But to actually sculpt on top of something, um, you know, and then, you know, some people are actually using like the medical dolls um, and they are... You know they're 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 taking those dolls and they're they're turning them into like silicone babies or whatever. But here's here's where it go. I don't see how we are holding people so accountable for buying kits that are replicas of the real thing, but not holding some of these people accountable that are like copying like the lady that blatantly said yeah okay I use Bonnie Brown stuff 
why is everybody so forgiving of her but baby Klein don't get a pass um these china people don't get a pass they you know um she shouldn't have got a pass she there should be no forgiveness zero forgiveness you know what you did you did it wrong you you copied and that's it that should be it boom she should be banned from the community but we don't do that do we because oh no she's from the u.s so let's let's give her a pass you know oh my gosh it is ridiculous um it's like you know and it i don't i don't understand it you know um but anyway that's that um i didn't mean to go that deep into it but i guess i did um so now i think that particular artist is probably going to get shunned from doing um that prototype artist she's gonna get shunned from doing prototypes now they're banding her from people using her for prototypes which will be nice to see what happens because uh, andrea Sella actually she won a prototype opportunity in a contest so will she withdraw that or not um will be interesting to see how that turns out um i don't know guys do you guys think that she should be um banned from doing prototypes or do, i mean i guess you know in her case do you think she knew they they're saying that if she's that experienced she had to know you know she, she if she's that good of a painter she had to know even though she's from overseas and all this and stuff i i don't know like i said i didn't dig deeper into it and i probably should have before i you know went into the video but i'm just talking on the surface so i'm not getting into any specifics or arguing any way but for me like there's times where i've bought dolls and people will be like oh it looked like so and so and so and then i'll start looking at it and i'm like oh my gosh um i had a kit one time i'll tell you guys this what happened to me one time i had a kit one time and i had bragged on the kit and went crazy over the baby and everything and when i got it here I had already started painting it. When I got through painting it, I put the hands when they were talking. I took the limbs and I put them, lined them up side by side by my um, Levi. Um, this is not even the other, this is a whole nother sculptor too. Not from the one that I was talking about that used Maddie's limbs and everything. And I put the limbs side by side. The, the arms, the feet, the this. It was so exact. I was nauseous. I couldn't keep the baby. <sighs> so I don't know. It's it, that part of the 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 art is kind of frustrating, you know. Um, but here's the thing: I already painted it. Um, it is a popular sculptor, and um, I've seen some others that I've lined up like that and but what am I to do if I came out and accused somebody or something I would be so attacked and I would be the one that'd be banned so I just got rid of it and just didn't buy from them anymore but I don't know like I said it's it's that gets too deep you know and then the last question I want to ask you guys is, what do you do? This is kind of just a funny trivia thing. I, I just was thinking of this the other day because I think me and one of my friends was looking at the same baby. What do you do if you are waiting for a particular baby to go be a, become available and you're planning on going after it to buy it? And it's only one, of course, and you want that particular baby. And you find out that your friend, Elfie, <laughs> and you find out that your friend want that same baby. What do you do? Do you not go after or do you just be like, hey, friend, whichever one of us get it first. <laughs> Whoever you don't get it, you can be the auntie, you know, or do you just say, you know what, friend, I'm not going to go after it. Because what if it's a very sold out, limited edition 
a baby and you both want it, what do you do? Do you not go after it? Or do you not tell your friend that you're going after it? Do you get it and hide it and keep it as a, a, a private baby? Like, what would you do? Like, seriously, just wondering. All right, guys, I am out of here. I think I'm gonna let this video skip the other video. Nah, I save it for Tuesday, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, just a few things, just a few thoughts. Um, yeah. Bye.